Hey guys, I'm Natalie. Welcome to today's workout. Today is going to be another low impact only but high intensity workout. You'll need two sets of hand weights. We're going to use one hand weight for rounds one and three and two hand weights for rounds two and four. Kicking it off with our two minute warm up. Let's start by drawing the knees up towards the midsection, up towards the belly button, a nice long tall torso. Let's roll the shoulders back for one, two, and three, bring the arms overhead and we're gonna do knee to elbow, engaging those abs, guys, and let's keep the back nice and long and tall the whole time we're working out, so don't hunch over to get that knee and elbow to the center. They don't have to touch, just bring them into the general vicinity for three, two, and one. Let's turn it into a pull down and a butt kick. So I want you to squeeze those shoulder blades together as you're doing that pull down. Really focus on squeezing that upper back as you're pulling those shoulders down and try and get that heel up towards the butt. A few more for three, two, and one. Keep this wide stance. We're gonna do side reach and a pull. So again, pull up with the arms deliberately like you've got something imaginary down there, like a chain that you're pulling up on either side. Nice long tall torso, again, you're not hunching over. So from the tip of the spine to the top of the skull, it's nice and long and tall and you're supporting it with a really strong core for three, two, and one. Let's do the squat and squeeze. So drive that booty back and squeeze those butt cheeks together when you get to the top of the move. Squat it back, squeeze it up for three, squeeze, two, squeeze, and one, squeeze. Shuffle on the spot, I'm gonna show you the first move. Just one hand weight for the first move today. A nice wide V, feet facing out to the corner of the room, weight in both hands. You're gonna curtsy with a bicep curl, stand, curtsy, tap. Curtsy, stand, curtsy, tap. So we're gonna do it at a pretty rapid pace. Get ready, roll the shoulders back and down. Curtsy, stand, curtsy, tap. Curtsy, stand, curtsy, tap. Keep those abs engaged. Look down, make sure that the knee isn't coming too far forward. If the knee's out there over the toes, pull the body weight back and step back a little bit further. One more. Well done, guys. So opposite side. Curtsy, stand, curtsy, tap. Make sure your knee's not coming forward. Let that booty come back. Here we go. Curtsy, stand, curtsy, tap. We're doing it at a pretty quick pace. You can slow it down if you like. All the weight is being driven up through the heel of this front leg. We're working this booty. Let's do one more. Curtsy, stand, curtsy, tap. Well done, guys. Small V. Weight out in front of you. Rear diagonal lunge, weight comes to the inside of this foot, tap. Curtsy, weight comes to the inside of this foot and tap. Here we go. Rear diagonal, tap, curtsy, tap. Round one is a curtsy bonanza. We're really gonna work out the glute through my favorite move, the curtsy. We're doing inner thigh and glute. And of course the shoulder. Well done guys, roll the shoulders back and down, other side. Rear diagonal lunge, drop the weight to the inside of this foot, tap. Curtsy, drop the weight to the inside of this foot and tap. Here we go, rear diagonal, curtsy. Let's keep those abs engaged the whole time. If you've got your hand on your tummy, feel them engage. Don't hold your breath, but just hold the abs nice and firm. Rear diagonal, deep curtsy, rear diagonal. Rest and watch. Step back into a rear lunge. Sorry, curtsy. Curtsy, stand with the tricep and lift this back leg off the ground. Here we go, curtsy. Stand and lift. Elbow is tucked in close to the body. Squeeze that tricep back. Now if you can, when you're lifting this back leg up, squeeze the glute. Almost as if the glute is holding that leg up. Squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold. Other side, step back, come down, lift it up. If you can, using this glute, don't forget about the tricep. Here we go, down, stand and squeeze. Keep the elbow tucked in, palms facing in, squeeze at the top of the move. 
Come deep into that curtsy. Deep, stand and squeeze. Deep, stand and squeeze. Come on guys. We're really working out the glute today. Come halfway down, there you go. Wide stands. Curtsy and swivel. You can either have the arm straight or tuck the arm in. Start with it straight. And if you feel like that's too much on your back, tuck the arm in, but still do the same swivel motion. So the hand's coming next to the hip, out to the front. Next to the hip, out to the front. Tuck it in if you like. Keep deep in that curtsy. No slacking off. Two, one. Other side. So the hands can be straight out and swivel. Or if you feel like that's too much on your lower back, tuck them in and up. We're working the core. Here we go. Down and up. Working that core, guys. Only you know how it feels when you're swiveling. You're not cheating by tucking the arms in. It's just whatever feels right for you. Come nice and deep in that curtsy. Look down at that curtsying leg. Two, one. Rest and watch. Getting ready for round two. Roll the shoulders back and down. Palms facing in. Rear diagonal lunge. Knee up. Squat with a bicep. Knee up. Let's do it. Rear diagonal. Knee up. Squat with a bicep. Knee up. Let's just go a little bit faster. Rear diagonal to squat. Go nice and deep in the squat. Let that booty go back. That's why we always practice it in the warm up so that the form is correct when we're working out. Other side. So guys, if you need to slow it down, I'm just trying to keep a quick pace to keep the high intensity part of this going. Rear squat. So overhead press to bicep curl. Nice and deep in both, 10 seconds. Rear diagonal to squat. I don't know what I'm talking about. It was a real lunge. All right, guys. Toe taps out, palm facing out. Swivel knee to elbow, and then pulling that shoulder with the butt kick. Here we go. Knee to elbow, butt kick. Let's try and do it at a nice, smooth pace. Engage the abs, squeeze the shoulder blade, pull it back. So you're almost pulling down behind you to engage that shoulder blade. All right, guys, so pulling down almost a little bit behind you, if that makes sense. So swivel and kick. Here we go. And kick it. Engage the abs. They're working out the whole time. The core doesn't get any time off. We're training it to be strong, to support your back, to have an awesome posture throughout the entire day. Squeeze it back. Squeeze it back. Well done, guys. Hover this arm out in a lateral raise. Side lunge, kick the booty, and hover this arm out to the side. Here we go. Side lunge, kick the booty. Make sure that you're not swinging the arm and letting momentum do all the work. You're deliberately coming down and up, down and up, just to shoulder height. You don't have to kick the butt, just get the foot up off the floor if you can. <sighs> Other side. Remember guys, when we stand on one leg, we're working this core a little bit more. <sighs> Here we go. Side lunge, kick. So we're just hovering at shoulder height. We're working that shoulder. We're working the arm. Nice and deep into the side lunge. Working the inner thigh and the booty and the quad on that side lunge. And the standing leg, of course when you're standing on one leg. Rest and watch. Step into a squat, reach across, back to center, step up. We are gonna do one slow and then we're gonna pick up the pace. Here we go. Step, squat, reach across, back to center and up. Squat, across, center, up. We're just gonna do it at a little bit faster pace. Don't throw your back out. We're just reaching across. Don't let the hips turn. And really only this reaching shoulder is turning a little bit. So down, across, 
back and up. Don't come down and twist all the body weight. Keep those hips forward. Engage the abs, let's do it. Down, across, back, up, faster. Stick with the slower pace if you need to, guys. Just keep up with me. If you're feeling it, go faster than me. If you're feeling it, but be gentle as you're reaching across. Let's sneak in one more. Well done, guys. One hand weight, repeating rounds one and two, grab a drink. All right, guys, so remember we've got that wide V, roll the shoulders back and down. Curtsy, stand, curtsy, tap. We're doing the bicep curl as we come down. Get ready, here we go. Curtsy, stand, curtsy, tap. We're gonna do it at a nice quick pace. Go faster or slower if you like. Come nice and deep. Make sure that that knee is behind the toes. Curtsy, stand, curtsy, tap. Let's go guys. Let's sneak in one more. Curtsy, stand, curtsy, tap. Well done. Get ready to do the other side. You should be feeling the booty, feeling the quad. It is the curtsy bonanza. Here we go. Curtsy, stand, curtsy, tap. Nice and deep. Let that booty go back. Almost like it's going back horizontally. So the knee's not coming forward. Booty goes back. Let's go. Curtsy, stand, curtsy, tap. Let's ignore her. Curtsy, tap. Well done, guys. Small V, arm out in front. Rear diagonal, tap, curtsy, tap. Here we go. Rear diagonal and a curtsy. I only want 20 minutes dog free a day. That's all I ask for. <laughs> Rear diagonal, tap, curtsy, tap. <sighs> Come on guys, keep those abs nice and engaged. Back up tall for three, two, one. Other side, small V, shoulders back and down. Pull yourself up through the crown of the head. Rear diagonal, tap, curtsy, tap. <sighs> Here we go. Rear diagonal and a curtsy. So I'm doing this many curtsying moves today to really feel that booty, really fatigue it. We're only doing short sets with this workout, so I wanted to see if we could load it up today. Two, one, well done guys. We're gonna go into that static rear curtsy. Curtsy, stand and lift this back leg. If you can, using the glute, here we go. Curtsy, stand and lift. Keep this elbow tucked in close to the body. Squeeze the arm back into a tricep extension. Squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold the glute. Squeeze and hold the arm. Come nice and deep on that curtsy. Two, one. Switching sides. I'm gonna grab a little rest. So for me, it's low impact, it's definitely high intensity. Here we go. All the way down, stand and lift. So remember, we're not aiming to go all out in our high intensity. We're just aiming to get to 80 to 90% of our max. That's all we need. Plenty of studies show you don't need to go all out for hit to be effective. Two, one. All right, guys. <coughs> Straight arm out in front. Curtsy, tap or tuck the arm in. Curtsy, tap. Just your personal preference. Curtsy and tap. I just don't know for some people if this swivel will be too much on your lower back. If it is, pull the arms closer to the chest or to the tummy, I should say, or just the body. <laughs> Three, two, one. Get ready to do the other side, guys. Last time today, roll the shoulders back and down. Wait out in front if that's your choice. Curtsy and tap. Abs are engaged always. <sighs> nice long tall torso. Pull yourself up through the crown of the head as you come out of that curtsy. Abs are always engaged. <sighs> come low into the curtsy. <sighs> Two, one. I'm gonna grab a drink. <sighs> Two hand weights. <coughs> Weights up at shoulder height, palms facing in, rear diagonal, knee up, squat, knee up. <clears throat> Doing the bicep as you go into the squat. Here we go. Rear to squat. 
overhead press to bicep. Don't give those abs any time off. Keep them engaged. Remember, nice long tall torso as you drop down into the squat. No need to hunch down. Two, one, other side. <clears throat> so as you're coming down into the squat, I want that back to still be nice and long and tall, not hunched over. And the booty's going back, knees aren't coming forward. Here we go. Down and squat. Rear, knee up, squat. Knee up, overhead press to bicep. Nice and deep, guys. Last round. Let's really focus on our form. Three, two, one, if you're like me. I get sloppy when I'm tired. You gotta really focus. Knee to elbow, butt kick as you pull that arm down behind you. Here we go, knee, butt kick. Keep those abs engaged. Watch your form, keep the back up tall. Last time we're doing it today. Make sure you're squeezing that shoulder blade. I'm reminding myself. Three, two, one. So we're not just going through the motion. We're focusing on the muscles we want to work out. Squeezing that shoulder blade. Don't worry, I'm doing it to remind myself too. Here we go. Knee, squeeze. Knee to elbow, squeeze with the butt kick. Knee to elbow, squeeze with the butt kick. Last time we're doing it today, guys. After this, four more moves. Two more moves, four more exercises. Segments. Two, one. Well done, guys. Get a little cheeky rest. Hover that arm out. Side lunge, butt kick, without throwing the weight around. Here we go. Side, butt kick. So just bring the arm up to shoulder height and control it. Down and up. Down and up. We're working the standing leg a little bit more. We're working the core as we come into the side lunge. We're also working the booty and the inner thigh and the quad. And I'm going to get a little rest. Get ready. Here we go. Side lunge the other way. Side lunge, kick. Side lunges are awesome. As you come out of the side lunge, you're pushing through your foot. You're working the glute. As you come into the side lunge, your inner thigh is working and the quad's working both in and out. Two, one. Guys, last move. Step into a squat, reach across, back and up. One slow and then we'll pick up the pace. Here we go, down, across, back and up. Down and up, down, across, back, up. Slow it down if you need to. Engage the abs, keep the back up tall. This is a core move, but we're also working the lower body and the arms and the back. We're always working multiple muscle groups here. All right, get ready. Step down and reach across with this hand. Here we go. Down, across, and back. Let's go a little bit faster. Don't throw the weight over. Engage the abs. Nice and controlled. Slow it down if you need to. Last move of the day. Come low in the squat. Let's go, guys. One more. Yeah, well done. Well done, guys. Grab your mat. I don't have mine. Come down on one leg. Bring one foot forward and push through this other hip. Open it up, breathe into it. Arm comes up in front of the body. Catch it with the other one. Press out with the straight arm against the bent one and breathe. Breathe into that shoulder. Bring the heart rate down. Arm comes up overhead. Reach down the middle of your back. Press down and very gently lean over the side of your body. Back to center. Push back into a hamstring stretch. Flex this foot, come forward just as far as you need to with a flat back to feel it in your hamstring. Push forward again, tuck those back toes under, keep the knee on the floor or raise it off the floor. Arms come to the ceiling, roll the shoulders back and down. Look up between the hands and breathe, opening up this hip. Hand comes down on the inside of the bent leg, very gently leaning, looking up at the hand. Bring the hands back down to center, knee on the floor. If it wasn't, switching sides, other foot forward, breathing through the hip. Arm comes up, catch it, 
breathe into the shoulder slowly arm comes up reach down the middle of your back and very gently leaning over guys sorry about my dog I asked my husband to look after him just for 20 minutes her them for 20 minutes a day but it doesn't ever happen okay pushing back into a flex foot hamstring stretch and they just want to be part of the action can't blame them all right guys tuck the toes under straighten that back leg if you like reaching up looking up between the hands and breathe bring your right hand on the inside of your left leg very gently pivot that back knee can be on the ground or off the ground looking up over the hand bring the hand back to center step the feet together very 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 slowly we're going to come up one vertebrae at a time don't straighten the legs until the end the head is the last to come up nice and slowly 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 roll the shoulders back for one two three arm circles for one two three pull the arms back and down stretching out that chest well done guys thank you so much for working out with me let's work out do a quick quad stretch I always forget that at the end and the other side so guys I hopefully you enjoyed low impact high, in, high intensity still we've done a couple of those in a row I think I saw some requests for cardio only with no hand weight so we'll do that one next time I do always read your comments and suggestions and really appreciate you taking the time to both work out with me and lead the feedback thanks so much